Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I am back with another fun one-page wonder. So I think this gets us to number 11, so I'm glad y'all are still enjoying this series. So this one is made out of um, one piece of paper, and it starts off as an 8.5 by 11, but has those white strips around it, so I'll give you the measurements, but just a regular, a regular size piece of paper will work. And... Um, then, of course, I've decorated this one, but with the one piece of paper, you're going to make this little folio, and you have enough to make these two pockets that I just, for fun, turned the corners down, and then this inside pocket, um, and a, a journaling card. So, these I just added after, I added some labels, and then I added these decorations. So if you want to do that, and if you want to make this little closure, that's additional paper. But for the folio, um, it's uh, one piece of paper. I did want to also mention that I have made these and then sewn them into a signature in a journal. So um, if you did that, what would happen if you sewed it in, well, if you sewed it in the center of a signature, ah, let me get to the center of my journal. Not that it matters. Um, okay, where is the center of one of these? <laughs> okay, so if you sewed it into the center signature, you would have your tie, um, your strings right here, but it would fold up, and so it would flip in your journal like this and then you could open it up and isn't that super cute but you could also put it in um not the center and then what would happen is at one point you would see this part you wouldn't see this piece right and then earlier in the journal you wouldn't see this and you would just have this little flap as a page so that's fun too or you could of course sew on this side so just another variation of a way you could use something like this if you wanted to jazz up a signature in a journal that you're making, okay? All right, so let's just jump right in. Oh, and then I just added this um, twine closure. And instead of tying it, I was just wrapping it around and then tucking it in. And I just thought it looked kind of cute like that. So anyway, um, certainly you could tie bow. Um, if you wanted to, you could take one string this way and one string this way, and then you could just tie it if you prefer. All right, so um, I am going to use a piece of paper that is 10 inches by, um, I kind of wanted it to be seven and a half. No, seven and three quarters. So this is right. 10 inches by seven and three quarters. And I did print on both sides so that um, I don't have a lot of white showing, but that's up to you. And you could also just cut a piece of scrapbook paper to this. All right, to this size. So get your paper, 10 inches by seven and three quarters. And I'm going to give you guys a couple of um, scoring um so we are gonna score on the 10 inch side at three inches and at, um, whoa, I already forgot, seven inches. Seven. So three and seven, and that's gonna be your fold. Now, we are also going to cut two and a half inches a strip off that's two and a half inches. So you will end up with a piece that is five and a quarter by 10 inches. So this won't fit on my little um, chopper that I have right here, but um, you're gonna do two and a half inches and you're gonna cut it off. I am going to try to just very carefully tear mine so that I don't have to walk away. Um, but you can tear yours or you can score it or cut it on a trimmer. All right, so again, now our piece is 10 inches by right at five and a quarter. Okay, this piece of paper, it has the, the score, and I did that on purpose because it kind of helps us know where to cut this. Um, 
and I know you guys can't see it, so let's add a little ink to make it easier. All right. So if you guys are interested, I am using um, one of the kits by Pink Monarch Prints, and it's the classic collections number one that's where these papers came from um but again you use whatever you have and whatever you like so now we're going to cut and i cut just um to you know just over the score line and then you can leave if you don't mind that little flap of paper having been folded just a little bit to be part of your journal card or you can just snip it off okay um and this is going to be the piece that you'll make into a journal card if you want to and these are going to become pockets inside the folio okay so again fold fold your folio on those score line where we scored folds like that and then we are going to I'm going to show you how to mark and cut the triangle off so um, on the 10 inch side mark with a pencil or a pen something mark make a little mark at two and a half inches and then make a little mark at seven and a half inches okay and then from the bottom right hand corner, you're gonna come up two and a half inches. And then from the bottom left hand corner, come up two and a half inches. So you've marked it at two and a half, seven and a half, and then two and a half, and two and a half. And then all I do is I just draw really light you know I don't make it super dark but so that I can see and I'm going to trim that off okay so hopefully easy measurements and not too hard and if you don't cut exactly on the um, line or you have your little marks there if you used pencil of course you can just go back and erase that and, you know, a lot of times you wouldn't even notice depending on the paper. And if you were going to ink this, you probably wouldn't see it anyway. Okay. So, I am going to go ahead real quick and add a little ink because I like to see, um, see, see the little fold and crease marks, the distress ink, and get it inked around here. So while I'm inking, I'll talk for a minute. I'm so excited that you guys wanted me to continue, or at least some of you did, because you commented, yes, if you have more ideas for One Page Wonders, keep going, we're having fun. So I definitely have more One Page Wonder ideas. I've um, been paper crafting for lots of years, and I'm going back through old projects, and even like cards that I used to make, and all that kind of thing, to see all the different kinds of folds and things we did from One Page. And, um, having a lot of fun putting this together and re even for myself remembering ones maybe that I haven't made in a while. I definitely have some that are go-tos or when I need a gift like some of the little folios and things like that, little mini albums. Those are wonderful to make um, instead of a birthday card or a thinking of you card, get well, those types of things. So um I also tend to make quite a few folios and things um, for the holidays, so it's fun. All right, so now mine is all inked up, and then I'm gonna take the two triangles and make the crisscross pockets inside. And um, of course, if you don't want that much contrast, you could put the same pattern um, up, it's up to you and you could decorate these. I used a few um, little number labels and things to decorate the one I made ahead of time to show you guys what we were making today. So, 
um, you know, if you want to break it up or decorate these, you can. Then we're also going to, these should fit right in um, as these pockets. Now, I chose, because I thought it was cute, to just fold the corner down just for an accent on mine because just the smallest smidgen of the corner does show there. If it bothers you, you could just, you know, you could make this pocket smaller. And in fact, you do need another little strip of paper if you wanna make the closure like I did. And a way around that, if you wanna make that closure and still make this a one page wonder would be you could make both of them smaller, or we'll just make one of them smaller, just to be different. I'm gonna cut this currently, um, this is two and a half inches tall. We're going to cut it down to, what do I want? Just two inches. We're gonna make it now a two inch strip, like that. And then we'll use that strip. I think I left it big enough um, for our closure. Probably depends on what size eyelet and things I decide to use. And honestly, you don't even have to use an eyelet if you don't want to. You just poke a hole, punch a hole, and put your ribbon in or your twine in. So I think that looks okay with the three different types of pockets in here. If you want it to be symmetrical, trim this one down as well. All right, so I'm just gonna use my wet white glue, and this is the um, PVA glue by Lineco. Um, and it comes in the bigger bottles. I usually try to show you guys this in case you're new to the channel. Um, so it looks like this, and if you um, wanna do some research or look at it, it is in my Amazon storefront, and that link will be in the description for you of the video. Okay, all right, so one thing that is going on, I had shared with you, my daughter got, got the big job, she's so excited, and so this means she is moving to New York, and so I'm gonna be out of town a few days next week. She'll be home um, tomorrow. Right now she's back in Baltimore where she went to college, where she lived for the last several years. Um, working on a project and starting to organize some of the things in her storage unit because on she'll be here tomorrow night and then Sunday we're going to move her out of her storage unit and come back here to Virginia <laughs> and unload it because she said she just kind of threw things in boxes because she assumed when she got a, an apartment somewhere else everything would go with her and what she wasn't or didn't know and couldn't have known um, is that she's in a furnished apartment and so um she really just needs to take like her personal things she's going to take some things of course to decorate with um her clothes her books that kind of stuff but um I apparently think things are very mixed matched um linens and kitchen items because she doesn't need to take all of her kitchen equipment anyway it's going to be fun around here on Sunday and Monday while she sorts through all of that and then we are going to um, I'm going to drive her to New York and we're going to get her moved in so I will be gone a couple of days next week so I'm videoing I'm making some videos ahead of time so you guys might be watching these um when I'm in New York so we'll see all right, let's make the closure. And all I did for this is I just made a little tab and decided, oh, how, you know, how big I wanted it. The original one I made is much wider. Um, but I think this one will work. And that way you can use the strip, you know, from the paper. Now, I also had mine kind of hang over just a little bit just to give it some interest. Um you don't have to do that. You can make it snug right against the edge. But let me give you the measurement on how long mine ended up being. Make this any paper, any size you want. This one is a little smidge under one and a half inches by a half inch. And I'm just gonna eyeball Actually, I'm going to bring this one up some instead of trying to center it on this panel 
just gonna bring it up a little bit and just have the slightest little overhang. Add some glue. And then we'll do this side. Now the eyelets I had gotten out to use in this project are the kind of the big chunky ones. So let me get that and see. I think it'll still look okay, even if it's a little bit bigger than my piece. Yeah, that'll look good. We're going for it. And I gotta get out my big bite crocodile. And I am going to just eyeball the center of that little tab. And we're gonna pop it on there. Oops, <laughs> it would help if I turned the eyelid the right way. Okay, that looks cute, doesn't it? And then that just, it's kind of a nice finish. It's not necessary, it's optional. Okay, and then guys, we're done, except for putting a string, and then any decorating we want to do. This is our journal card. So, we'll do it that way. Um, I will probably go through and embellish and decorate. Now, the piece of twine that I used, I did measure this before I put it on. I'll show you how I attached it. I'm not ready to put one on ours. But um, it was 28 inches long. So, um, I did tie the ends so they don't um, fray too much, but just double it over and loop it, loop it on here like that. And like I said, you can do a little bow or you can do what I'm doing and just wrap it around and tuck it in because I think it looks cute. All right. So I hope you guys make some. I hope you enjoy I hope it's fun. <laughs> Until next time, have a great day. Thank you so much. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment.